fucking cold out. I'm Tyler. I I locked myself out of my apartment. I got nowhere to go. Um, do you mind? I'm in a few words, yeah? Do you have tea? No, um, sorry. Just coffee. Is that okay? I hate coffee. <clears throat> it tastes like dirt. I had this ex, Megan, and she drank coffee every day, and it, her breath just made me sick. So. Oh. I'm uh, I'm trying to write a poem about like all these little things she did that made me sick. So. Um. It, it's just it's just sitting there, the the pot of coffee, and there. There's enough for two. Fine, I'll take the damn coffee. Just you know anything warm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Of course. sake, man. I'm introducing myself. My name is Tyler. Oh, I'm Simon. You know, I actually read in an article once. I read in an article once that headphones kill more people a year than cigarettes. So. <laughs> See, I had this ex-girlfriend, and she, she smoked cigarettes and wore headphones, so God only knows how she's still alive. <laughs> There's no way that statistic is true. Where did you read that? I'm just trying to start a dialogue, man, Jesus. Yeah, and that's the best way to start a dialogue. It piqued your interest, did it not pique your interest? Yeah, but just because it's absolute bullshit. This is great, see, you're defending your right to wear your headphones and accept the risks. Don't you feel so human? I feel pretty pissed off, frankly. Well, aren't you glad I offered you this opportunity to feel something rather than nothing? I didn't feel nothing. I felt calm. <laughs> calm, right? What kind of limp dick bullshit is calm, right? It's the worst of the emotions. Give me death before you give me calm. I'd be so lucky. Hmm? Nothing. Back to square one, then. Back to calm. So, you're on a war path to piss people off for the sake of emotion, is that right? Right, 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 it's like, uh, it's like performance art. That's not art, that's unbelievable. I can't believe you think that's art. You're out of your damn mind. <sighs> Ernest Hemingway was out of his mind. Yeah, and so was Charles Manson. Fuck you. <laughs>
you here for the party? Yeah. writing a poem about you. Okay, what do you want? Let me hear it. What? The poem. Jesus. If anyone should hear it, it's me. It's really mean. I can take it. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. I cut my fingers for you. Thanks, babe. My mother was right about you. And what did she say? She said that you try and try to be this well-read genius, but you have no substance behind it. <laughs> and what is, uh, what is substance according to Megan Harmon's mother? Substance, according to my mother, to me, and to the rest of the world, is something every human is born with. What baffles me about you, Tyler, is that you, you try to be this intellectual with substance and you, you end up with nothing. You're a shell of a person who could never feel anything real at all. <laughs> right. Uh, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Right? Thou art more lovely. Fuck you. I wasn't finished. You can quote Shakespeare every day of your life and jerk off into Dante's Inferno, but that doesn't make you some kind of fucking prophet. Oh! Tyler. Your name ain't nothing, old man. I'm the future. 